you might remember this particular ship that we have seen since the introduction of Patch 4.1. It's the Prima Vista, the theater ship that's used to take us to the Royal City of Rabanaster. And I've been able to finally complete my collection of gear that needs to be upgraded on my main class. And I've been able to really take a liking to the place, but it doesn't help sometimes when the party that you're working with doesn't exactly help you out. And, <laughs> yeah, ironically, and ironically, they make it feel like it's raining on everyone. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here in overall autism for another edition of the Tales of the Yorzy vlog here on Final Fantasy XIV's Exodus server. This week I want to talk about a trend that seems to be happening with parties in 2018. And that is that the tanks, for some reason, are not being given an opportunity to tank. I've been noticing in a lot of dungeon runs since 2018 started that a lot of healers and DPS are, for whatever reason, wanting to take on the tank role themselves and not allowing the tanks to do their jobs. This has been prevalent. Um, one of the best examples I can explain this was in one of our streams earlier this week. We had a healer who was calling me out for not tanking, but what they did was they got themselves killed by not following with the rest of the party, and they went on a different path, They and they somehow ended up behind us, and got a whole bunch of aggro on them, unbeknownst to us, and they ended up dying. And so they complained that they weren't that the tank wasn't doing their job, and I was like, and we were all in agreement for those of us who were in party and in stream, that the healer had no one but themselves to blame for not following with the rest of the party because the tank in any party is the de facto leader of the group, and therefore they have the responsibility to set the pace, let the people know this is where we're going, this is what we're doing, and this is what we're going to accomplish as far as getting to the end of the dungeon or the raid or whatever it is that they're doing. But yeah, we had that issue. We've also had, um, there was an issue as well when I was doing Lost City of Amdapur where I was tanking and we would have a healer who would just go on and take the lead as far as pulling all the aggro for what seemed like every group that we ran into. They were, and we called them out on it, like, uh, did this healer really want to be a healer or did they want to be a tank? Because we just wanted to play the level for fun and enjoy the level and we have this healer that's pretty much aggroing everything because they're running far ahead of everyone else and not giving us a chance to set the pace as the tank should. Because it is, of course, our responsibility to do that. And then in Rabinaster, um, this most recent week when I was playing with both Corinne and Mathia, we had um, pretty much t tanks were taking their time, I guess, and they just were trying to figure out who was going to main tank and because of it, because they were taking their time, there were some rogue DPS that decided, okay, you know what, screw it, I'm not waiting, I'm going to pull this boss or this group of enemies. And it's really unfortunate to be seeing this trend in 2018. Like, if it was new players, I can understand that they may be want in a situation where they're thinking like, I don't want to wait here forever, let's just get it on. But if you've made it to the Royal City of Rabbit Master and you've made it that far into the game, then surely you are able to be able to comprehend the fact that the tanks have to take the lead and it's their responsibility to pull the enemies. It's not your responsibility to do that. And I played this game long enough and to understand that completely. I know to just take my time and let the tank do whatever they need to do and if I'm tanking, then people recognize that and acknowledge that, and they'll understand when I'm pulling, and they'll just act accordingly. But it's really weird to see 2018 start off with so many rogues and rogue DPS and healers, not, not to 
put down any rogues in who play rogue in game. I should say that. But as far as rogue MP, um, not NPC, but rogue DPS and rogue healers, like that's not something that should be happening in 2018. Um, if especially for experienced players who should know better. Let the tanks do what they need to do, and let them be the ones responsible for ensuring that we succeed. Because, uh, going back to the Rabinaster point, um, we had, when we were trying to have the tanks what we do what they were doing with Mathiah, we were trying to get the, um, determine who the main tank was going to be, and we had a rogue DPS pull, and not surprisingly, everyone was so uncoordinated, and our tank was new to the fight. So, completely unaware of what we were supposed to do, we wiped on the first boss in about two minutes. It was that bad. But that's what happens when you have people who break rank and don't follow the way that a fight is supposed to go, especially when you've gotten that far into a place. So, it's something that I felt like I needed to talk about because if this is how 2018 is setting up, it is especially worrying for experienced players like me and people who really want to just enjoy the game for what it is, to see all these people who are not playing the tank role in a dungeon or raid just do whatever they want. It's your responsibility to either be the one who deals the damage, or be the one who does the healing. It's not your job to tank, leave that to the tanks. Respect what they do, and respect what they're trying to accomplish, because ultimately, they're helping you out as well. And it's important that you understand how significant that is. So I just wanted to touch base on that because I thought it was important. And I hope that if you're watching this and you're someone who mains as a tank, that you can gain an understanding of where I'm coming from. But maybe it hasn't happened to you yet. Maybe you haven't had any of these rogue DPS or rogue healers yet. But for, for me, it's been happening a lot so far in 2018. And I really hope that it's not a trend that will last for the duration of the year. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this edition of the Tales of Eorzea vlog, and as always, if you have a character here on Exodus or looking to create one on Exodus, and you want to join a free company, we'd be happy to have you with us. So thank you very much everyone for watching, and until next time everyone, this is Matthew with Novoa Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.